Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wondering Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. I'm waving. <laughs> you can't see and then I'm like why am I waving? Um, I wish I could figure out how to do that picture in picture stuff but I, I can't. Um, I just haven't broken down and, and worked on it. I'll have to work on that for like next year. Trust me, it's trying enough just to get my ideas out and recorded before having to go work on my house again. So, here we go. I'm going to do one more video today. Um, and then it's into the house and get some more work accomplished in the remodel that we are doing. I don't think it's ever going to end. The flooring is in. The um, new cabinet, new to us cabinetry. Um, which will have to be taken out next year and painted white to match the others because we extended our kitchen, which is absolutely great. Um, but my daughter's bathroom has to be done. Her room has to be done. And, oh, I have to, I told her, okay, honey, when you are done this next two days off, I need you to empty out your room. I've got to get it painted and prepped. And then we have the flooring. It's in the hallway and I have a tiny, tiny hallway. So you're tripping over it constantly. I said, this has to get in. So anyways, welcome to my channel. A bit of uh, going on a tangent there. Sorry. So this is September 2023's Paper Pumpkin Alternative Video number 17. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that for Paper Pumpkin, I do alternatives. So these were the project you could create, which I did not. I did do one very similar to this. Video number 15. No, 16. Was this cute little card. Oh my goodness, look, I stamped it on the top. I'm going to have to rectify that. Uh, that's funny that I, I could put a big smiley face right there when I give it to her. I might just do that because she will get a kick out of that. Okay, so Anyways, you have a QR code on the back. You get to see everything, a picture of everything that comes in the kit and the colors. And enough of that. Let's get on with what we are going to do. So we are going to use the Forever Fern again, this image that I have been using. Um, let's see, we're using Crumb Cake. But we are using a pre-made card base, meaning one out of my stash. And believe it or not, I don't know how this card goes with this envelope. But these are the envelopes in the box with them. I mean, they're a really nice card base. They're a vanilla-like. But the card envelope is like half an inch too big in my opinion. But hey... That's what's in there with it to go with it. So I, I'm rolling with it. So card base is six and a half by 10, meaning it's then scored at five. So layer number one, believe it or not, you guys are going to laugh. It is this half an inch strip of copper clay. So it's a half an inch by six and a quarter. Our next piece, yes, it's going to have that hole in it. Layer number two is four by six and a quarter in Mossy Meadow. And just because I have one out of that, I'm going to stick this in all the way. I might be able to get two. Yeah. Just because I might use them. Will I get another one out of here? Uh, not without difficulty. So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to keep that one of my goodies. Um, and that here was the new heartfelt hexagon. This was a layering circle die. So layer number two, once again, four by six and a quarter with some bits cut out for just because the circle was already there when I grabbed it out of my scrap box. Layer number three is one by six and a quarter. And I actually have to have two pieces of this. These were one inch strips left over from the bag so I punched them both with this really I don't know what the name of this one was either this uh decorative border punch here so I'm going to stick that back in my drawer where I keep it um and we'll be piecing these two together to make six and a quarter 
Then I have layer number three is the Lost Lagoon card base. We are going to cut this down to six and a quarter. So let's keep that to the right. Um, we're using two of these branches and leaves from the kit. We're going to use one of these gold bits from the kit. Um, layer number four is a two by three and a half inch piece of crumb cake. And I punched it with this elegant uh, tag topper punch. So I'm going to put my punch back in the drawer. That is done. Then I have another piece of copper clay, which is that heartfelt hexagon, which is a new punch that has a coordinating stamp set called heartfelt hexagon. How convenient is that? So, um, da, 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 mossy meadow braided trim is going to be some of my, for my ribbon element on the card. I have a bow made out of twine that I might use. And I have my sentiment strip, which normally I have tons of sentiment strips left over. But I'm getting down like to maybe one or two after this piece. This is the larger of the two. Um, and I think that will cover all of that. Oh, and of course, I'm going to use my little splotchy ones here. So let's cut this down to six and a quarter. So this measures seven. So it needs to be six and a quarter. I need to take three quarters of an inch off, which is right there. Now, I'm not getting rid of that. Of course I'm not. So this is done. And I think we can get to the stamping because we are going to stamp our envelope. We're going to stamp our card base. And we're going to stamp in crumb cake to begin with. So let's do our envelope first. Now, you could do... We could do a combination... This was just really big, and I wanted something a little bit more dainty. So I'm wondering if I combine the two. So let's see what it's going to look like on here. So I'm going to go here. There. Then I'm going to reverse it. This is so pretty. And I know it's not even, it's not meant to be. We're going to stamp off because if I don't like it, then it's only on the envelope. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Not terribly great, but not bad. Just trying to use more of the paper pumpkin element. So we're going to come right there. And we're going to come full strength and full strength. So this is similar to what our pattern is going to be on our card. So let's get to work on stamping our card. So this is our front. So we are going to do stamp off. Of course we are making sure I got the fold going to my left So stamp off. I want to go, you're only going to see about an inch, an inch and a half. So we're going to go like right here, stamp off again and go this way this time. Then I'm going to come and link the border. There's only going to be a hint of the border. So there's that. Stamp off. I'm going to come down here, stamp off, and do like so. So the rest of it for the time being is going to be that forever fern. And we're going to go there. We're going to come this way and that way. And we're not going to be done yet. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. 
we're going to add another layer on here, which probably will be Lost Lagoon. I was like looking for my stamp set, but I, I mean my ink, and it's right in front of me. So I know where it's at. So stamping off, we are going to come like so. And then, of course, full strength crumb cake. Now, Lost Lagoon. We're going to need that again but let me grab our lost lagoon and we're gonna do our little speckly bits really faded so i stamped off three times i'm gonna go one two three i'm gonna get four with that so onto the front one two three one two three four one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Some of them do overlap. Two and three, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. Now we have to do this on our envelope. We're going to keep it all together. One, two, and three, and one, two, three four one two three one two three four one two three one two three four aren't you glad we learned to count so many years ago what would we do without that right so all of that is done except we're not we're not done i was thinking that this would be really pretty in Lost Lagoon. So we have to, to clear this off. And this might just ruin it. But I was thinking, oh, would that not be pretty? Where's that little strip I had? Shall we test it? We're going to do a tiny, tiny test. Oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. Okay. No need to test it further. We know what we like, right? So my branches are coming here diagonally across. So this, oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to go here. You ain't going to see this here. And then I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, I did so pretty. All right. Let's try this one now. Maybe I'll add another layer. Maybe we'll reverse it this time. Meaning we'll stamp crumb cake. I'm stamping off. And we're going to do a little test. I don't like this. Okay. So it's going to get cleaned off and we're going to do it again in Lost Lagoon, but probably stamped off version of Lost Lagoon. Let's try. We're using this as a test. Yes. So stamp off completely. That has a line through it right there. Ever so faint. Oh, that is adding, believe it or not, it is just adding layer. On there, just layers of a little bit, making our own DSP here. So this one now. I'm going to come here. And down here. And then a bit there. A little bit different of an angle. Oh, yes. I'm really, really pleased with this. I think it's going to look gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So close up all of our stuff here. Move the ink pads and that away for now. 
and let's see how this is going to fall together. So I have my little strip of copper clay, which is going to get attached to the mossy meadow here. And I just want it on the edge. Those of you who are afraid to do this, try it. You might find that it works really, really well as far as to glue a small strip to a larger strip. To me, it's the only way to go. So there's that. I want to make sure that they are lined up top and bottom, and they are. So next, let me see. Did that go behind or on top? This little element was meant to go like so, just ever so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bit off and marry it with a full bit. So guillotine, because I cannot cut a straight line with my scissors. That just never works. All the years of paper crafting and that talent has eluded me. More credit to those who can. I am one who cannot, and I need to just marry these two together. So I'm going to add glue here, here. We're just adding that bit together, and then we will measure it. Kind of make sure I get my holes lined up, or it really will not work. All right, so now I need this whole piece to come to six and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut off this bit first and then measure. Well, let's see, six and a quarter. Let me get a, a look at six and a quarter. Oh, that is gonna put it really cool. It's gonna put it right here. Believe it or not, that's almost perfect. I might go a little longer and then snip it off by hand. So that's easy enough. So now, once again, we just want, because if you put it on our card, and it's a good thing we didn't glue that down. So there. And this bit is just going to give us a little element of it like so so now we are going to glue it down and we're going to do it the same way we're going to turn it this way i'm going to add glue right here And then you can see that little bit. I'm going to snip it off on both ends, I think. All right. There's one. And there's two. Now, this bit can now be glued down like so. And we want just a tiny bit there and more on this end. The glue. No Xing on this one. little bit on the left, more on the right. So there's that. Now this piece is going to come in like center, almost, well, not quite center. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at my hexagon did that, didn't it? It sure did. It's going to be okay. We are going to get it as close as we can. 
and we just need to go around the edges around the edges cross all right oops not that far i'm just going to have to make sure my branches come that far and now i'm going to have to use my glue thingy to get the glue off because I put way too much glue on here. My glue eraser. All right. Oh, yes, this is going to work because we have this bit. We can do it off center. I can manage this. Even when I make a mistake, we can manage. This is coming on top, so that actually will do really well for the bow over there. I think, anyway. So let's lay it out. Or this actually is going to cover it so I can put it back in the center. Ha <laughs> ha. That is going to be perfect. No one's going to see it back there but you, me, and the rest of the YouTube world. So we have that. Do I want it? No, I want these, I think, in between, like so. And then we're going to do, of course, some surgery here. Let's close up this while I do the surgery. No mask necessary for this type. So there's that. This one. And this one. And I could probably leave that. And I'm thinking I can snip here and there. And this is going to give me four pieces now. Oh, it's going to give me five. That's even better. But I want to take this little end off of its perch. And do I want to take that leaf off? I do. I thought I could leave it, but I just can't. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, and this time I can't. So there's that bit. And all of our other little gold bits, which are just going to get tucked in and about. These are going on dimensionals. I like that one there. This one, I think, is going to get like that, possibly, right in there in the back. This one, maybe, in the, no, this one in the back there, this one in the front, and this one over here in the back. So let's start with this one. This one is going to come right like so. And this one's going to get partially glued down. Because the other part's going to get tucked up. Hold on to it a minute. All right, so this bit here, we can move this. This is getting glued down. And I haven't forgotten. Did I forget about the ribbon? I thought I would put it. Oh, I did. I thought we would just put this. How could I do that? Easily, very, very easily. It's me. So see about, will this go through? If not, I'm going to figure out something else. We'll figure out something else. We'll figure out that in a minute. So I want this roughly in the center. And I say roughly because it's all your eye. 
what you like. So I told you that these now are going to get popped up on dimensionals. So I know from the other ones, I just really need to do three. One, two, and three. And this bit, oops, don't go down yet, dimensional, we've got to come, why are you stuck? There. This one, dimensionals, two, three will do. We don't need like a crazy amount of them. My little dog is snoring. She's on a great big dog bed in a furry blanket. Nice and toasty warm. Her little chihuahua self gets cold. <laughs> Glue those together. Now we're going to put this here, but because we have this one, we could cut it apart and add that little bit extra without or with. We are going to cut it apart. So guillotine. See, sometimes you can use it. So we're going to cut this in half, roughly in half. You ain't going to see the middle, just as long for me as it got quite a bit of a straight line. And I'm going to add glue along here. And we're just extending it. That's all we're doing. Adding another layer. And by cutting it in half, we are able to add some to it. Ooh. Definitely like that. Now, what I could do is see, I was going to run my ribbon around this, and then I forgot about the glue, but I can do it here and then tie me a bow on the side. So I think that is what we are going to do. Are we ready for this? No, not at all. So that is way too long. So pull it back this way. That is a good length. So let's go ahead and use Handy Dandy Mr. Frog. He's going to give us a hand by dispersing us a piece of scotch tape for the back. Maybe if I can get it off my nails. That's just going to give us an extra helping hand along with my reverse tweezers to keep it nice and flat. All right, so you guys know I do struggle. The struggle is real with this. So we're gonna go here. Especially when it's I feel like, you know, I'm learning to tie my sheets for the first time with nails. Every time I tie a bow. But, oh, that is going to be great. That is really, I'm really pleased. We can go either way with it. So, let's take another look. Do I want it to go this way? I love this braided trim. This is going to cost extra. That's going to be bulky, but that's okay. It's going to look great. I think I like it this way. Where's my sentiment strip? Because this then is going to float. I wonder if I have a short one because the short one would be perfect. I'm not sure if I have another short one, but we're going to check it out. So let's just dump it. Unless, nope. Oh, there's one. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Because now this is going to go. Ta-da. 
perfect 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 but we haven't stamped that yet so let's cut our ends and I do like them kind of where they are so pull the ends together just give them a little snip not much just a little just that much oh so pleased with this so so pleased with that i'm gonna go ahead and get a nice big fat glue dot here and i am going to secure this down so it's not wiggling about and let's go ahead and get our gold bits back into place so this one we said is going back there so do 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 this one member is going in the front and this one is gonna come oh like so so I'm gonna add a couple of bits there this oh I'm gonna have to put it this bit is untucking itself so we're gonna have to hide you make sure you got glue going down in there to tuck you down in there because we don't want you sticking out any And two. oh yeah, this is going this way. Where's my other little bit? And that one is going to come like so. So all we need left is to stamp our sentiment on the front. Um, I haven't, have I not been putting anything on the inside of the card lately? The projects. Oh. So what do we want to do? We could go for you. We're going to put this also up on dimensionals. But placement here is going to be the key. So there's that one. So we're going to put one there, one there. Hopefully that will do the trick. Don't even need that bit. Don't need that bit at all. So what do we have? Well, we have lots to choose from. Happy fall, y'all. No, that's not from the paper pumpkin. That's from Bennett Ear. With love and gratitude. Um, thank you. I like grateful for you. And we are going to stamp that in Lost Lagoon. When is this one grateful for you? Not even going to bother getting the stamp in Pierce mat out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. So pretty. And then we could do the one I've been using the whole time. Thankful for friends like you. And then happy Thanksgiving. We could clear these off. And we can do those on the inside in a moment. Let's get this on. Now, the thing is, it's like, how are we going to do this? But we need those little strips, you know, like for, um, what do you call it? For shaker cards. That's not it. Where are my... Please let me have some available in my little container. There we have them. If there's some from a paper pumpkin kit or a kit of some kind. So these are perfect. And I think they're the perfect size. 
but we have two stuck to my finger so we'll just go with that so we're gonna stick them on each side as close as we can get to this mossy meadow and hopefully if we're lucky they're going to be just right and what do you know that is awesome thank you thank you thank you thank you paper pumpkin okay so next of course are our gems which we could do one one two three One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I like them around here. I'm okay with leaving that. So I'm going to place one up here. We're using the large ones because this is such a big card. Right there. Ah, oh, yes love it so for the inside now i said we were going to use a combination of these two um happy thanksgiving uh-oh it's not from this this one has its own happy thanksgiving where did i get this happy thanksgiving from guys it's not laying leaves banner year oh it is banner year happy thanksgiving and happy fall y'all so Lost Lagoon. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We can also do Happy Thanksgiving. Right there that looks great i yes i can't believe i gotta stop playing in here this is not what i don't want to like quit and go do my other stuff but i do have to i cannot be selfish i have to get my work done so i'm going over all the bits on this leaves and branches bit probably should do this before I put all the gold bits on it but it always tends to be the last thing oh you know what we could do I wonder if I could it's too late now I was like we could have looped some gold in there behind here but I, I love my bow I don't want to mess with that so there it is guys my uh what is the six this is a weird card so this is five by six and a half and it was just a pre-made card base but i wanted to do something big and i really really love this love all the little elements you cannot see where this is covering my little bit that i punched this out of over here you can't see it and this you cannot even see where i joined it together which is perfect so I am so happy with this card. Yes. Uh, time to go do some work. <laughs> one of those things. If I want my house to ever get finished, I've got to be the one to say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because if I don't, they all, everybody will just let it fall apart and can't do that. So thanks everybody for watching. I am so grateful for being able to bring this card to you and sharing my love of paper crafts with you please consider giving me a like share or comment i would love to, really love to know what you think of this card and how i covered up those bits um, the communication with you is what keeps me inspired every day i wake up and i read your comments and i am so touched and honored that you are taking time out of your day to let me know that you'd like it or that you have a question, I'm here to answer anything I can. And thank you. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.